Hello everybody and welcome back to Beta Days. I'm Beanin and today is episode 50, which means it is time for a world tour. If you're new to the channel, I've had this world since about October. I've also had another world which we'll be touring today um, that I've been doing here on YouTube and it's grown so much in just a short amount of time along with the channel. And I thought every 50 episodes, you know, a tour is in uh, order. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the tour as we go through my world and the other world that I have and play here on Back to Beta Days. Before we get started, please remember to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday with random videos in between. But without further ado, let's begin the tour. So I've decided to start here because if you're an OG fan, well, not fan. If you're an OG viewer, uh, you know that I used to start every video off in this corner. So this is the basement of my starter house where we've got our enchantment table, our, you know, workbench set up with our smelters and our blast furnaces, furnaces, sorry, and just some storage that we uh, use. This used to be just cobblestone and, you know, just this workbench, but now we have all of this. In here, if you come down, uh, this is a recent addition. Once I got the beacon, I built this little room for it. I put this torch for hidden light. Um, you know, just something cool. This is the Alfamous Cookie. <laughs> uh, one of the viewers uh, asked me to name a cookie after him, after subscribing him or her. Um, so that's that's in there because it was actually the first time someone asked me to name something in the comments. So if we go up here, this is my starter house. It's pretty basic, um, you know, just my little kitchen right here, a little dinette area with my jukebox because I have one of the new records. And then if you come up here, we have just a little alcove. We have my little uh, landing area for the stairs. Through here is a tower. And if you come up here, there's some space that I have yet to do uh, anything with up here. I think I might use storage. I don't know though. <laughs> and then you come up here. This is the tower and you can see kind of a glimpse of our whole world and what we'll be touring. Oh yes. Also last episode, if you didn't catch it, we started building the library. So we'll continue with that after episode 50. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, moving on. So this is my starter house from the outside. It's a nice little, you know, just cool thing. I originally built this uh, without actually recording anything for, you know, Minecraft. Um, I built it like, you know, just playing Minecraft in a world one night. And I came up with this, this design and, you know, we kind of stuck with it. <laughs> so it looks good. I remember I started this world off in Doku Craft. Um, so it looks pretty much the same, but when I started, I was using shaders and, you know, stuff like that S shaders and Doku craft. If you're wondering what this little building is. This is my storage, uh, chicken. This is my storage house. You know, I just have some extra storage because my storage downstairs was filling up. So we've got all of our goodies and our resources. And you'll notice that storage is pretty much the only reason that I've built things in this world. I've got a tiny little nether wart farm and some bamboo. And then this whole area, I call this the little compound, but it's surrounded by a wall that I built in one of my earlier episodes, I think. I don't even remember recording it, but I built that and it protects me from the monsters and creepy crawlies outside. Although I am on peaceful for this video, just because, you know, uh, <laughs> I don't want to get interrupted. Down here is a cave that I said I would fill in. Um, never did. So now it just kind of sits there and it's my resident cave. Sometimes if I feel like going and sitting in a little cave, I go there. <laughs> and over here is my tree farm. It's not automatic, but, oh yes. Also, I forgot to cover. This is just an entrance to my basement. So... Over here in the tree farm, I have, you know, hoppers connected to it. It's not automatic, you know. Farming's one of the things I enjoy doing in Minecraft uh, manually. So we've just got these hoppers and it collects anything that I miss. Um, 
This is supposed to be the same design, but I have always said since the beginning, I'm not going to finish this farm until I hit 100,000 subscribers. Um, and I'm going to stick to it. I, I may never hit it, but <laughs> we'll have to see what happens in the future. Here's just my starter farm. This is the first farm that I had. And then I built this pond about episode three of another Minecraft Let's Play. And yeah, you know, it was pretty good. The audio was horrible. But moving on to the next build. Outside of my little compound, and you can see my house a little better, we have my barn. This is actually one of the worst performing, like more lower performing videos that I've ever put out. What I noticed is for some of the clips, half of the audio was recording my voice twice, um, which was annoying. But in here, I've got a little bone meal farm that you can just come down here, grab your bone meal. I've got my horse, no name. These are for if I ever get like llamas or, you know, stables. This did have chickens in it, but I needed the feathers. This is cows, sheep, and pigs and sheep up here is just some storage where you know basic stuff if we go out back over here uh this is an added layer there's a well that goes pretty deep but i've got a little sugarcane farm and then these are my profit farms this is where i you know farm crops to get emeralds and xp off of villagers and I mean, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. One thing I'd like to add is this is going to go just kind of in order as I'm walking through the village. I'm going to make my way to the nether portal. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there's no point with that. Now, over here is our farm storage. We, As you can see, we've got plenty of crops and these are all functioning silos, meaning that if I come up here and place crops down here, there's a chest hopper system that you know is inside of here i hope that didn't get picked up yeah you see so <laughs> that's very nice this is our farmer's house this is where some of the farmers live and you know i just keep a chest of random junk uh up here you can see just the basic little bedrooms you know nothing crazy um so yeah next up we have this little tower this is actually a one of the more recent builds that I've done. Uh, I wanted a tower, so I built this little number, if I can get up the dang thing. It's unfinished right now, but I did put in the floor and I put in the stairs so that we can get up to the top and have a great view of the village I call Riverton. And you can see everything and don't worry, we'll get to it. I'll try to keep it, you know, concise and stuff like that. Next up, we're going to go over there. Here, uh, before I get to this house, here is, you know, just the bridge that goes over the river that gives Riverton its name. Uh, and this pathway leads all the way to the world spawn. And I think it's about to get night. It is. Okay, well, we'll have to work with that. But yes, this pathway leads all the way to the world spawn, which is actually pretty far. It's about like a thousand blocks that way. And I can segue perfectly into this building right here, which is Max's uh, bl blacksmith, toolsmith, weaponsmith, one of the smiths. Uh, this is his shop. Ah, Max's metal magic. Uh, he's not really... Yeah, he, he, he does this. I don't know which one that is. But I built this as uh, one of my, you know, first builds in a new format. Uh, when I started rolling the intro for another Minecraft Let's Play, which was very fun. I'm going to take your bed real quick, Max, because you I need it more than you. <laughs> and I know it's on peaceful, but who wants to tour in the dark? Yeah, so it's got a little balcony overlooking the village center. <laughs> um. But yeah, nothing too furnished, nothing too crazy. Just a good looking little house for a villager. Well, little, it's pretty big. Next up is the town center itself. You know, you have this. It started out as a fountain that I had to dig away at a hill at. Uh, dig away at a hill for. And actually, this is how, this wall right here is how far I ended up digging that hill away, which is crazy. Um, but, you know, this is a nice little fountain. It was episode... 16 no 15 something like that uh this is greg 
Greg was the first villager we had, which segues me into my next area. This is Greg's Aww. fishing hut. You can see this was the first house built in the village outside of mine. Um, 11, 12, 2023, 20, which, you know, marked the new era. And it used to just be this little house with a basement that I never go. And I think I played, yep, just a random slab. <laughs> and then, you know, you come out and it used to just be this little dock. And now Riverton has grown into something big oh and this is where i fish <laughs> and yes i've cleared out my hot bar just for the sake of the tour if you're wondering what this is i actually this is the building that made me decide i was going to merge both this world and the other world that i used to play there was the original back to beta days world um oh i actually have a lot of resources in here <laughs> but this is supposed to be a church. I need to figure out a floor plan for it, but hopefully, you know, with this kick, I can figure something out and we can, you know, get something going on the books. If you come right over here, we have the butcher shop where you have a butcher. And I guess I didn't trade with them yet. Some of my, my some of the, my villagers keep dying, but this is a nice little butcher shop that it's pretty simple. It follows the diagonal thing. You come up here, there's a bed, obviously. And then you walk over here, you shut that, and you've got your pigs for, you know, getting ready for what happens to pigs at a butcher shop. Down here is the docks, which I do need some more work on. I've been meaning to do it, but you know, just some basic stuff, which leads me into this, which is our townhomes. There's supposed to be a few more there, but in here is going to be, you know, a shop, a pub, something like that. And then here will just be storage because why not? Up there in those houses, I don't have much, but I can still show you uh, what I have. <laughs> you know, let's go up here and there we go this is the stone cutters stone mason yeah the stone mason stuff we got you know not not anything too crazy but you know it's a good good little house it's got you know one room up here i think a villager lives in here decent view of the farmhouse for the farmer villagers and then next door i think we just have a straight up house right here let me see Ah, yes. Ah, <laughs> the random little nook wall. Yep. <laughs> uh, oh, yes. And then you come up here. You know, just a lot of random little things. <laughs> now, coming over here, you have, I think it's Sandy's Stonecutter. Ah, Sandy's Stoneworks. This is a large, this is a large build. Um, Not really, like really big but it's a large house you know you come in here the villagers get confused uh what are you you're a farmer <laughs> you come in here you got a bedroom some space that i will furnish eventually and then you got another bedroom with some good views i swear some of these vill these villagers live more spacious than i do <laughs> working our way over we have the library that we just started last episode and I mean, it's unfinished, but I plan to have an enchantment table right here, bookshelves right there, uh, tons of bookshelves up here and up here and down here, and, you know, just kind of some cool designs uh, in the build that, you know, we can leverage to make look nice. This is also going to be a fully functional library, whereas I'm going to fill it with only chiseled things and I'm gonna use it to store books, uh, either ones that I've written in the world or, you know, enchantment books and stuff like that. So that'll be categorized. I got the idea from uh, Dallas Med 65 great YouTuber, love watching his stuff. I've been watching it since I think 2019. Yeah, something like that. Um, this is my building chest, it stays here, but this leads me into my next uh, section, which is Grand Central Station. Now, this is grand. It is central. It's big and it looks better in shaders, trust me. <laughs> but it still looks good now, you know? Like I'm not I'm not too mad about it. And if you come out here, you know, you can see the style that I was going for and you can see the dome and I've got my beacon going right through it, which you know, I, I don't I don't have much here, but yeah. 
And I actually have a functioning railway, so, like, as of now. Uh, this will take us down to, you know, where we go. Just, to, like, the little stairs. And here is a map of Riverton. We are right there. And we will go into this soon. And we'll also follow this road up uh, once we show you the railway. Now, this way is supposed to be going out towards the mangrove swamp because mangroves are... Uh, I, th I heard they have a higher spawn rate for diamonds. So, going there. And then this way takes us out to our Mushroom Island. Um, we can ride on it in a second. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> and here is the railway that's supposed to go to Northwood, but we still have to take the path because I am dumb. And I have a horse that can take me, but, you know. <laughs> so, let's hop on this cart and see how far this takes us. Now, sorry, I always have to go quiet during that when uh, I take it because the minecart is just so incredibly loud. Here is the big bridge that I built. That's a cube. <laughs> uh, this is the big bridge I built that takes us out to the Mushroom. It is an ongoing project, the, the Mushroom Island. But, you know, it kind of bankrupted me in terms of stone and cobblestone. <laughs> so I still have more to do. I am building the supports all the way out there. Um, once it gets into render distance on that side, then you can see the Mushroom Island. So it's not crazy far, but it's still a pretty big feat. Um, heading back, we will check out the industrial area. You know, my industrial areas and what is what all is in those because, well, you know, it's part of the part of the world, and you know, people enjoyed watching me build them. So. We'll go ahead and do that, but I'm not going to make you watch this again. Side note, I don't know if I showed my bedroom, but here's my bedroom. This is my 4x4 map that I'm working on, and this is Ben, my dog. Oh, also, in here, you can find books that I used to write... Oh, give me that. That I used to write for my Another Minecraft episodes... Uh, or Another Minecraft Let's Play episodes, where, you know, I just kind of was trying to make some lore. So, you know... Hopefully, I can return to that, but I'll need more time and, you know, stuff like that to plan it out and make it good. Now, starting up here, we have the mine area. Uh, unfinished, obviously, because that's beaning. <laughs> Even the mine's unfinished, and I did this, like, I think episode 20, or no, not 20. I did this, like, episode maybe, like, 32 of another Minecraft Let's Play. Um, down here, let's just go down here. This is supposed to be, you know, like a little mine yard and everything. And it gets more and more industrial as we go. If you come down here, I've got my little mine and a little crane pulling things up. Let's see. I hope the mine cart's right here. It's not, <laughs> of course. But you go down here and this is a cave where I've died many times. This is a straight shot down to Deep Slate that I haven't finished yet because why not? Or why would I? <laughs> uh... And yeah, it started out as a big cave opening that I just kind of filled in and built things around. Moving up over here, we get to see the storage lot, 
where I have my different warehouses. Um, and here I store things like stone. Speaking of which, I can go ahead and do that right now. Um, I store things like, oh, is that really all the stone I have? Okay. <laughs> Um, I store things like stone and, you know, stone bricks and things like that with, sorry, I'm just trying to think and do this at the same time. <laughs> uh, so stone based items are in there and here are the stone variants. So andesite will go in here. Uh, I don't have any tough. I don't have any of that. There we go. Granite goes in there and yeah, so this is all those. I added these because there's a lot of stone variants and stuff and these are all the stuff that usually takes up a lot of space and here i have sand uh and dirt I, i'm actually yeah i'm pretty full on dirt uh gravel and you know stuff of that nature which are particulates you know things like that coming up here we have my ore refinery area with it's basically just a big brick warehouse. You got a little loading dock right here. I do need to come back and add some details, but for right now it serves its purpose because it's got a super smelter in here with all of this uh, stuff in it. I've been running it, you know, nonstop recently. And <laughs> I mean, it's working good. We're, we're getting back to being rich, but this thing is great. I used i craft mc's design i think on it so yeah and then here's just some stores that i had and uh, stuff of the sort coming down here we've got my quarry where you'll see that it's actually a full quarry <laughs> you know i looked at even or i looked you know into making a quarry is a good way to get a lot of stone when i was earlier in the game and it's got the water it's got you know a way down there and it's just you know kind of nice with a crane coming over to our big barge where i i mean it's literally just a barge full of stuff you'd find in the quarry um and things like that here you got the crane you know raising up a big block of what is that diorite yeah and on top of the crane of course i added an outlook so that you can get a good view of riverton speaking of which let's do this and take a screenshot All right got to make sure that's centered well or at least close to centered there we go wait or should i take a selfie with it Ooh, hold on oh yeah <laughs> there we go that looks good. Now let's change it back. There we are. Now, my favorite thing to do is to run off this and jump and land in the quarry, as most people do. I wouldn't recommend doing it unless you know the the area and know the water's safe uh, in real life. But here is our kind of like yard, you know, that comes. Uh, it's like a you know a shipping yard uh for you know things like this so you got big blocks of diorite andesite granite wood these are supposed to be wooden crates uh all of those you know piles of diorite and stuff like that and here you know is the cart track okay i guess i just don't have a mine cart on here hello but this is the cart track from the mine down to or up to the ore yard which I use sometimes, but it's mainly for looks because if you look up right here, you know, it just kind of adds to the thing. It adds to the industrialist look of the whole build. Now, moving forward, uh, our next section of the tour, we're going to need uh, some horse transportation. So let's go grab my horse and head to Northwood. Now, to get to Northwood, we have to travel up this path which I've done, I did some work, you know, close to Christmas, or I think it was around December 17th. It was, yeah, something like that. It was December 17th, around there. And I was like, you know, I need stone. So of course, what do I do? I dig a path out to Northwood and we have a fully functioning path that needs to be changed a little because my 
choices, like right there. What's the, what's the point of that? My choices were a little skeptical. Or I'm skeptical of my choices. Um, but here we have, you know, just a little pathway that starts to go out to Northwood, but unfortunately ends abruptly once it hits the snow because I ran out of time. <laughs> now, if you quite literally go over the river and through the woods, you won't get uh, put out at Grandma's house, but you will come out at Northwood, which is the product of a failed initiative to branch out into something before Riverton was finished. Now, we don't have much in terms of builds here, but we have some pretty humorous things. I'm sure you can tell. Okay, yes. I'm sure you can see that. Yeah, my horse can't get out of that. I'm sure you can see the giant snowman, which when you're sitting there thinking, wow, what is what is this? This is a snowman. That, that's it. It's I made this for the month of December. I was just, you know, hanging out and I wanted it to be snowy. So I found this village, conquered it. Well, qu conquered it. Uh, got almost killed by. Actually, no, I did get killed by this guy. <laughs> uh, built the snowman, built this weird thing, filled in that hole and tore down the village and built apartments for the villagers. A ridiculous Christmas tree and two sections of a wall that I need to finish <laughs> with a little house. And I have Juan up here because he's been chilling up here since December 23rd. And wow, I have some goodies up here. <laughs> I didn't know I had that much stuff um, here. You know, I just got coal and oh, I didn't know I had this much stuff. What is that weakness? Oh, wow. Look at that. 30. Wow. Wow. I should have visited up here a lot longer or a lot soon. Oh, wow. That's a lot of wood. Wow. Hey, episodes with Bean and Man discovering new things. Oh, I guess I'm going to have to spend the night here. Oh, well, at least I got a door slammed in my face and a cozy fireplace to sit by. But that is about it for Northwood. I really didn't build much and it shows in the viewers because they weren't they weren't up there. They're not like what I'm doing today. Which, speaking of, I you guys have been absolutely killing it with the views and everything. I've been averaging like a thousand views a video. And the most recent episode of this got like 2,100 views, which is crazy. So thank you guys for all the support. And I hope you enjoy the content that I'm putting out. I keep getting a good amount of subscribers from each video. So I'm doing something right, I think. <laughs> oh, and now I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. But yes, I am going to head over to the nether portal where we will... Well, we can do... Ah, I don't have any nether hubs. I just have a ancient debris mining area and then like a bridge. And then like a bastion that I found. And that's it. <laughs> but we are going to head over there. I will meet you at the portal where we will go into the original Back to Beta's Day... Back to Beta Day's world. That I haven't been in a while just because I've been in such a kick with ow, with Riverton. So I'll meet you there. Now, as I said, it's been quite some time since I've been through this portal and gone to the original Back to Beta Days world. So I don't know if it works, but we'll have to see. Uh, down here is my mine. You know, nothing too crazy. Just a big old cave. You've seen one, you've seen them all. <laughs> but... If I go through this portal, it should get me through to the other world. Might be a little rusty, who knows, but let's check it out. And would you look at that, it worked. If you're wondering where we are, we are in the original Back to Beta Days world. This is my cave. It's got a lot of moss. I started working on it, you know, taking inspiration from the man cave in Etho's world. Um, but there's my portal, you know, kind of a more Minecrafty underground natural theme uh, for this world that I went with. If you come up here, we've got my little cherry blossom trees uh, with my little axolotl. Still needs to be named. And some of this, you know, a little drip leaf. I think that's what it's called. Some azaleas. Uh, coming up here, we've got my bone meal farm. Again, 
essential. Uh, over here we have my enchantment tables. Stuff like that, you know. Gotta stay enchanted. Even though I don't have enchanted armor or anything. <laughs> Coming over here, we've got my underground tree farm. That I built. And, you know, I don't really use because now I build with concrete, which we'll get to. But I want to take a trip over here. And, of course, I have it like this. I, oh, it's... Yeah, I had Snuffles in here. And, well, Snuffles just disappeared. <laughs> I don't know where he went. I just, like, came back one day and he was gone. And uh, I, th I think he might have grown up and suffocated in a wall. But I'm not too sure. This is a little ravine that I built a bridge over. You know, something just classy <laughs> uh and up here is my minecart track that takes me to the original house that i built did you notice how i actually had the cart there for once and here's my basement you know nothing too fancy up here is my living room A little sunset view perfect timing actually the chicken little fireplace and you know some decoration i actually tried when i built this one and you come up here and you get a whole lot of nothing with a little plant and my bedroom which we can go ahead and take a sleep without spoiling anything that's behind me because you know i want to do it for the world tour this is the little house i thought i was gonna go kind of like house on a hill scotland type vibe but i ended up going in a different direction and we also have a very tragic uh thing here the last time i was in this world i accidentally uh murdered all of my villagers in the village that i built next to and snuffles <laughs> poor snuffles i'm sorry i don't mean to walk on your grave but yes these are 12 villagers that all died in a raid and i just forgot that i didn't give you a, a thing well, too bad. Now, from down here, you can see that there's something up in the roof of the cave that my elevator shaft goes to. And that would be my house. Is this on hard? Yeah. Let's just do that. <laughs> that would be my house. Uh, this one, I decided to go with a modern build. Um, and over here, you know, it's still a work in progress. I haven't been on this world in a while. But you come up here. And you're immediately met into a storage room where you can overlook the cave and, you know, just kind of observe. And, you know, I'm working on this storage room, kind of converting it and everything. And you come out here into my basement, which, again, I'm in the middle of building, in the middle of moving. We can come over here. and This is my utility bed. Like, this is where I sleep when I'm working on projects and need to be close to stuff. Oh, is this that? Yeah. Oh, wait, no. I'm just gonna... Oh, wow, I have a lot of... Wow, why do I have so much stuff? Okay. <laughs> but you come up here. This is the kitchen. I have a nice open area. A uh, little modern thing I've been working on. So the whole modern office, or the whole modern look is what I'm going for this. It contrasts to Riverton. But you come in here. Here's my kitchen. I know it looks a lot better in shaders. <laughs> Um, got my food, got my stove, just something that looks nice. And then up here is going to be my office. I'm working on replacing the floors and, you know, making sure it looks nice. Oh, yes. Staircase. Got to look at this. It's a big staircase. And then you come up here. This is the most recent addition where I don't know what I'll put up here. Maybe brewing. I've got a little room. This could be like a guest room or something. Maybe if I have a villager friend, but this is the living room. Double story, of course, because, you know, I'm rich. Got an overhang that you can see down to, which brings us up here. That's unfinished. <laughs> and well, yeah, that's, that's unfinished here. You can see my farm and the house on the hill. But this is my farm. I pretty much just use it i might have to move it and remodel it but eh, whatever if you come out to the yard i'm gonna add you know some stuff but you can turn around and see my entire uh house this is usually where i take my thumbnails but this is what we're dealing with and i just hit the wrong button it's a nice looking house it's it's a big it's a big modern modern mansion um definitely a work in progress but we can go down here to 
the villager apartments. Uh, <laughs> you know, I had to close it off because I didn't want to raid. But these other apartments, it's pretty much the same thing I always uh, build. Just, you know, made in a modern design language. I think I have... Oh, the villagers are breeding. Yeah, I had to repopulate because <laughs> this is where we had the raid. Um, as you can see, I thought I was keeping the villagers in here for safety. And I started a raid by accident and push led to shove and they all died. <laughs> but I'll go ahead and show you guys this up here. Uh... It's my canal that I worked on at one point. So, yeah, it's a pretty big canal. But if you come out here, I have my canal command center uh, that I built while building this canal. Canal? Cana canal? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> but it's the command center. It's just a little spot that I can, you know, stop and rest. Or, uh, you know, somewhere that I used to store my items. Oh, God. What was that? While well, I was building this, because as you can tell, coming up, it, it took a lot of resources and a lot of uh, digging, if you will. You can see that I've scaled the land over here to reach me out to here, <laughs> which is a pretty big area. And out here uh, in that direction is my mob farm. It's just a little little zombie farm. I guess I can show you guys. But nothing too crazy. Just a nice little XP grinder out of a lush cave that I built. Which I can show you and then we can head back to Riverton to wrap things up in the top of the tower. Now here you can see I've got a little dock and a little hut that I built for safety with some crap and some other stuff like that. But down here is the real showstopper. Not really. It's just my XP farm. I know, that's that's a lot of trust in that that fall. Okay, I thought I just dropped my pickaxe. But this is a cave where I found four monster spawners, which is crazy, and tons of diamonds. And I still haven't explored the full thing. But if I come down here, you'll see that I am very unorganized. And I have a little spawner with tinted glass and zombies. It's off right now because I've decided to turn it to peaceful, as I say in the beginning of the video. But you come down here, you have the kill room, which is just a very bad rudimentary little thing. Uh, the goods drawer and where I throw things I don't want. I also have this here so I can, you know, disenchant any uh, golden crap and also, you know, smelt it down once I'm done and <laughs> get that. But. That is pretty much it for this world, aside from one little hidden cabin somewhere. But I will... I will... Cover that in another episode. Gonna go ahead and get back to the house. And meet you guys back at the tower uh, in Riverton to wrap things up. And I think I just got lost in my own cave. No, I didn't. It's up here. <laughs> but I'll meet you back in Riverton where we can wrap things up for this video and call it a successful world tour. Well, there we go. Back at the tower, getting up to the top, where we can wrap things up uh, for the day. But I do want to show you guys just another look at everything we've built. And, you know, it's honestly crazy. And, you know, all of this is because you guys continue to watch my videos and interact with them and it just makes this whole world fun. So thank you guys all, or thank all of you guys, sorry, for watching and interacting with my videos. It means a lot to me. It makes it so much more fun than just talking to nobody. I have big plans for this world and maybe the other world, but I don't know, people seem to really like Riverton. So if needed, I'll stick with this for now, this world. And we can get things rolling. But just another glance, taking everything all in. And enjoying what it has become. And being hopeful oops, for what it will become.
But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this world tour. Next episode, we will be working on the library some more, uh, finishing up the interior, you know, getting, getting things together for that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Please remember to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Remember to leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the world. Let me know what you want to see in these worlds in the future. And if you're new, please subscribe. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with a video on Saturday and random videos in between. <laughs> Until next time, this has been Back to Beta Days. I'm Beanin. Peace.